Gucci, everybody. Gucci. Welcome, my dear. Here, look, I've got a little. Sometimes I keep this in case Tom Cruise is ever on. I. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's yeah, lovely. Welcome. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. I, I, I really am very interested in this film. That, that yeah. looks like you, a different look for you. It's in a, the, bit, uh, a little bit different, yeah. Do you, do you play? Uh, what, that's uh, part woman, part pig, and solve crimes. Yes. No, I don't want solve any crimes, but I am part woman, part pig. Is, is it a comedy? Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. right, uh -huh. right, right. No, it's actually it's it's a comedy, but it's a, um it's like a, it's got a great message about. It has a metaphor, I'm guessing. Yes, it's a fairy tale, so oh, it's right. all about um her loving herself and saving herself and. Does a witch curse you by? Putting... Yes, the family. Really, is see by that's a witch. witches for you every single time. And they go right for the looks. They, they do go around. Look what happened to me. I used oh. to be gorgeous. <laughs> you upset the wrong witch in this building, you're over, sister. <laughs> yeah. sure. did, you, did you ever try going out walking around with your pig nose on? No, not really. They were very sort of like, oh, don't let anyone see it and stay inside. And All right, I mean, yeah. like, I was really going to walk around with a pig nose anyway. <laughs> do you enjoy bacon? Yes. I, I do. I really like bacon. Yeah, me too. I was a vegetarian for a year and then I had smelled a bacon sandwich at an airport. I'm like, ah, screw this. Oh, really? Yeah. I would think it would be difficult to be a vegetarian and be Scottish. I, you know, it, it, finally someone who understands me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. But Is I it easier? Say, yes. Yeah, I've had blood sausage. I know that probably everybody, like annoying people, want to talk to you about blood sausage. No, no, no. In fact, no one's <laughs> ever mentioned blood sausage to me ever. Well, I have had it before, and I think it's amazing how they manage to, like, people like to eat something that tastes like a scab. <laughs> I know. And sometimes, you know, when, like... And black pudding? Yeah, well, the black pudding is blood sausage. It's much the same okay. thing. Okay, well, yeah. it's all scary. That's what my mouth tastes like right now, because I got my tooth out. <laughs> it's delicious! Sometimes blood's okay. Blood? Do you, do you ever drink blood? Hell no. Really? Hey, you were in a film once called That Darn Cat. Yes, it was. I saw that film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The show that I'm doing here tonight is my version of that darn cat. Where's your cat that's going to solve crimes? Well, there's crimes. no cat. But actually, Are you going to solve a crime? Yeah, I'll solve a crime oh, if fantastic. you want. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how the monologue happened. <laughs> nah. Where's Dougie Doug? Dougie Doug, he was in that. He's very, very good. Is he a friend he's, of yours? No. No, I mean, no, he's no. a funny man. I thought everyone in show business was friendly well, with everyone else. That was a long time ago. I was 15. Right. So, I mean, that's 13 years ago. Well, look, what age were you when you started doing films? I was nine. Really? Yeah. That the Adams Family? No, that was Mermaids. Mermaids. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've Googled them. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't it's either. ridiculous. Are you are you from around Los Angeles? Are you from? I was here? actually born in Santa Monica, but then I was moved to uh, New York, and then I kind of moved back and forth because I would spend like six months out here doing movies when I was a kid, and then go back home to New Jersey. And, and are you are you you live here now, right? Yes, now I live. Do here. you do you get bothered by all the uh, the paparazzi and everybody following you around? Are you part of the club scene? Um, no, I don't go out at all. I don't. Neither like, do I. I. No, I don't no. like it. Mm -mm. Um, I don't go out really, and I don't drink, so going out is kind Neither of Neither do I. Dumb. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man. Am I really high and I'm hallucinating this whole thing? <laughs> no, I, I, um, I took some medication for my teeth. I heard. Oh, <laughs> Spectacular. What kind? I can't say it on the air. All right, but it's good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I don't mind getting dental work or any kind of surgery done because I like the pills. Would you ever have plastic surgery if you got uh, old and stuff? You know, would you get plastic? Well, not if, well, I mean, of course, if when. I, if I aged in a really unfortunate manner. Yeah, like if, you, if your nose went all piggy or something or like something that. Or something really weird. <laughs> yes. Or if something really weird happened, like I've seen people's knees, the skin of their knee drops a, a lot. I, I just wear pants. <laughs> Do that. Hey, can I see, can I see your tattoo? Sure. 
Oh, that's lovely. It's an Ebergori drawing. Can I? Do you yeah. make people look at it? No, no. I, I like that. It's very, very nice. How many Thank tattoos you. have you got? Uh, seven. Oh, good. Yeah, you've got to have an odd number. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Seven and seven's a lucky number anyway. It doesn't seem like there's enough of you for seven tattoos, really. <laughs> <if> you, <laughs> you know, there is, but I can't wait until I'm really, really super famous and then I'm going to get one here. You're pretty, you're super famous. Yeah, but, you know, the, you have to hide. Like, I'm at the point where, like, I really should hide them a little bit more because right. the people, directors meet you and they're like, oh, no, but she's Oh, tattoos. tattoos, yeah, she wouldn't but work then as once you're, like, big girl. super yeah. famous, they're like, oh, who cares? She's got a tattoo on her neck. Sean Connery, he's got a tattoo and nobody cares. <laughs> He does. He has a tattoo on his arm that says Scotland Forever. It does. Yes, it does. It. Really, honestly, it does. That's yeah. Well, that's not true. That is so true, Christina Ricci. Don't come on my show and tell me it's not true. It is so true, too. It is true. I happen to know Sean Connery and I've seen his arm. <laughs> you ever seen Sean Connery's arm close up? No, <laughs> that's not. Scotland Forever. Really? Scotland Forever and it's got a flag and some golf things. No, it he doesn't have the golf, the golf things. I went too far with the golf. But now he really, I know you're lying. I, he does have a tattoo. He does. Okay. He does, and he's got one on his butt as well. Okay. <laughs> That's not a pretty picture so much. What, Sean Connery's butt? It used to be back in the day, but it's gone a bit like... It's gone a bit like, like knees. knees. Yeah. 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 He'll never be on this show now, you know. <laughs> That's a shame. That's okay. Yeah. Listen, I, this movie looks fascinating to me, though. It, it really does. I, and thank you so much for, for coming on the oh, show. No, thank you and, for and talking me. to us. It's very nice to meet you at last and nice your tattoos. Yeah. Christina Ricci, everybody. We'll be right back with Judy Mars. How lovely to see you. How are you? Are you having I'm a nice good. time? You yes. look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You Woo! just look fantastic. Thanks, yeah. like are you having trouble up. in that seat? I've well, got the. I'm just very short. No, no hold on. I, get, I keep this in case oh, Tom Cruise is ever on the show. Hang on. Me and Tom. There you go. Making names for ourselves. How's that? There, there we go. go. That's what that hey. is. Hey! How are you? I'm good. How are you? I haven't here? seen you in an age. Where have you been? No, almost a whole year. Yeah, well, well where have you been? Um, in Los Feliz. Los Feliz, you say? <laughs> the area of Los Angeles that's just over there. You can see. I think we're looking, are we looking at the valley? Uh, I don't know really what that is. <laughs> I, 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 it's, a, it's a large blown up photograph of Denver, I think. <laughs> Really remotely resemble Los Angeles? No, it's nothing oh, like Los Oh, wait, Lusset. over there. No, oh, yeah, I yeah, live, that bit over there. Yeah. I live over there. Oh, you do? Yeah, because if downtown's there, then I'm over there. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Good night, right. everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah. You don't want to tell people where you live. You no, know, this is a big stalker popular show. This. Uh... You know what? There are, the, there are paparazzi outside of the house. And are there really? Actually, the, ma the Maps of the Stars has better directions to my house than really? I could ever give anybody. Really? Are you on the Maps of the Stars map? Yeah, and I never really knew that. And a couple of years ago, actually, my old house, I was on um, the Santa, you know, Santa Monica promenade thing. I know Santa Monica Boulevard, but that's for a time <laughs> different reasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Sometimes I go there and give transvestites a lift home late at night. You too? I'm Me and Eddie Murphy were like, come on, let's get you people home. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was on the, um, you know, the boardwalk, right. and I saw this big laminated map, and I looked on it, and it was better, uh, better directions than I've ever been able well, to give anybody. That must be alarming. It was actually alarming. Do you yes. have a Do you have a guard dog or a gun or something? Oh yes. Oh, you do. We have three dogs. Right. And one of them is very large. He's a half German Shepherd, half Boxer, Walter. German Boxer. He's there. You go. <laughs> He's really big. Yeah he's, yeah, he's very Aryan, very blonde. Yeah, no, I've got a, I've got a German Shepherd. They are very German German Shepherds. Yes. You know they. He's very regimented. Yeah, too. regimented. Does he's tried like to annex it. the kitchen on a number of occasions. <laughs> He doesn't like it when anyone does anything crazy, like no, any no. dancing or loud noises. No. It freaks out. Do you know, I've got a new dog. How many dogs have you got? Three? Three, yeah. I've got three now as well. Do you really? Yeah, I've got a German Shepherd and a Jack Russell. They're my main dogs. And then I've got a, you know when you have a balloon tire to get you to the uh, garage if, on your car? Like a backup tire? Oh, yes, yes, right. yes. I've got a backup like dog. A yeah, tire. it's a... It's a spare dog. Yeah, it's a French bulldog. It doesn't really... I, we have a French bulldog. Really? Ramon. Is it very farty? 
Um, I no, I not that I've noticed. Really? I'm awfully waspy, so I'm not gonna embarrass my dog that way on television. But he's. <laughs> Your dog watches television? And anyway, it's French. You won't understand what we're saying. He snores a lot. He snores? Snores so badly. Oh, it's a man French bulldog. Mine's is a lady French oh, bulldog. Oh, no. Ours is Ramon. But he started out being called Ramon Raul, and then we started calling him Bullet Pig because he's shaped like a bullet or he's a pig shit. He's, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I know. I've got things. one, yeah. Yes. And then he became Brad. Brad. Because BP, Bullet Pig, Brad Pitt. And oh, so now, yeah, yeah. So now he's Bradley. Hey, hey, listen, if my dog looked like Brad Pitt, I'd be a lot happier. The damn thing. <laughs> It no. is. It's not. It's not a very attractive dog. They're not dog. cute. They're no, not cute, no, and they smell terrible. Bradley is not cute. I wash him in the sink. You every, wash like, him in the sink. Every three days, he gets a little wash in the sink. If I was to get, you know what my dog is called? The French bulldog, cabbage. Oh, that's cute. That's the only cute thing about the damn dog. Yeah. Does she, does she eat a lot of cabbage? She doesn't eat any cabbage, and yet when you smell it, you would, you would think, think she that she ate. Nothing but cabbage, cabbage, and maybe sulfur. Does she? <laughs> Does Are you she... a big dog person? Do you have cats? Do you have a cat at all? No cats, but I always had cats growing up, and, right. and me and my sister lived together for a very long time, and we had this cat, Vigo Morgenstern. Vigo got... Morgenstern used yeah. to be a cat. Well, Vigo, we named him Vigo, and then we were afraid that people were going to think we named him after Vigo Mortensen, so yeah. we decided to name him Morgan Stern, just, you I know. thought it was Vigo Morgan Stern. No. <laughs> I always get these two mixed up. It's like Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. I can never quite get it oh, in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is close. Couscous? But I have a question. I said it is close. Oh, it is close. I thought mm. you said couscous. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, hummus. <laughs> <laughs> Tahini to you, young lady. <laughs> do you enjoy couscous, do you? I, I do like it. Were you a thinking lot. about it just then? No, what I was actually thinking about was the fact that I'm Scots Irish and you're Scottish. Yes. And you have a tan, and I'm also tan, and people are always like, you can't be Scottish if you have a tan. But you're proving my theory that the Scots. Yeah, if you get them into the sunshine, <laughs> they will behave. <laughs> If you have them in Scotland, yes, it's very difficult to get a tan in a country which is entirely made up of clouds, damp, and bad no, teeth. No, I know, but the but Irish... They, uh... <laughs> but, but, you know, like, I, I, the Irish freckle and burn and stuff. Yeah? And, uh, Do you freckle and burn? No, I'm, I'm saying, like, I tan, and everyone's like, no, 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 you can't really be no, Scottish. No, you, you are, I can see that you're Scottish. I have Irish uh, blood, too. My grandmother was Irish. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Beezy Maguire, her name was. Beezy? <laughs> Beezy. That's a fantastic. It's a good name, name isn't it? Beezy. Beezy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's a it's a, a kind of funny version of Bridget. Her name was Bridget McGuire. Oh, I like Bridget. She was from Donegal, I believe. Donegal. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Have you been to Donegal? Uh, I don't think so. No, but I like saying it as though I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I do a lot of that. I know that's good. It's good. It's always good to just repeat the last words you've heard. Heard, like, oh, yeah, yes. heard, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try. I'm not very try. bright. Bright, yeah. So, I gotta work with what I've got. No, I'm just do I'm doing what you're doing now. I'm going and just, it works, doesn't it? it? Not really, no. I gotta be <laughs> honest. Uh, it doesn't really work for me. I just look like a creepy weird guy going bright. And you're doing, oh, right, uh, right, right, right. Wait, I am a creepy weird guy, so that's what. <laughs> now, Los Feliz is where you live then. Yes. Um, that's very trendy. Isn't it? That's where a lot of the trendy people live there. Do you have well, maracas think, or bongos they, or something no, you like to play? Like the hipsters are sort of moving out more towards Echo Park now. So Echo it's Park. a lot of older hipsters now and families. More hip replacement, really, then. <laughs> Good one. Good yeah, yeah. one. Buzzing. Liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, but you, you're still a hipster, though, aren't you? I'm not really, no. Oh, of course you are. Come on. No, no, no. Like, I, I'm you got your not, tattoo right there. That doesn't make me a hipster. Really? Um, to be a hipster, you have to like, grow, be able to grow facial hair and... That's a man hipster. Like you're a lady hipster. <laughs> I'm confused about lady hipsters, though, because there's so many varieties. You yeah. know, like, I, dress, I could dress up like a weird plastic doll, or I could dress up like when, a weird When will that hippie. happen? <laughs> I basically just dress like I'm, I'm from a J. Crew catalog and I'm all. I'm I have a bit like I'm from a menswear happy. catalog as well. Yeah. You know what? Everybody should have a theme. Yeah, my, my theme is Bob Barker circa 1974. <laughs> it's good though. Yeah. 
Just be concerned when people start throwing like prices at you. No, they, they <laughs> people ask me the average retail price of stuff, they won't. Oh, but they might spay and neuter your, your pets. That's what Bob used to always say. Spay and neuter your pets. Really? Yeah. Who was a big... He, oh, he's very big animal activist about not allowing animals to have any more animals. That's <laughs> seems like a strong thing to be. Oh, yeah. And well, that's, that's Bob. You don't do, do not f with Bob, man. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't. I had no idea. Don't. Don't ever mess with the Bobster. No. Yeah. And he had his pet projects and that no, was no, pretty no. much And it. his pet project was getting things off of pets. He just he didn't like dogs with testicles. He doesn't like dogs with testicles. I mean, who does, really? I, I, I love them. <laughs> We've got to go. It's lovely to see you again. Nice and you do look sensational. You. Really Thank a you. lovely, lovely, lovely look. Christina Ricci, everybody. We'll be right back. Let me just say how absolutely spectacular oh. you look. I mean, really. Thank you. Wow. Dressed you don't look axe you. murdery at all. No, no. That's it a was, totally different look I'm going yeah, for. Yeah, I mean, this is very elegant, sort of lovely. It'd be hard to kill someone in these shoes. But not impossible. But not, yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think she did it, Lizzie Borden? Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. I, well, I thought she got off with it. She did get off, but not because she was innocent. Does that ever happen? Not anymore. Well, yes. Oh my God, why did I just say that? Maybe it sounded like an idiot. No, 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 no. I sound like an idiot all the time. <laughs> Thanks, audience. <laughs> no, Craig, you don't. Yeah, you kind of do. No, um, well, how, how did she get away with it then? Well, it was the Victorian age, so... Well, they didn't just let you away with things because it was like, well, it's a sort of a time of Victorians. Yeah, and, no, oh, but off you, you were go. A girl. They didn't think girls were capable of anything, let alone murder. Is that what it was? Yeah, is that yeah. the card she played? Yes, it is. Really? Uh-huh. I know nothing about this other than Lizzie Borden took an axe and something something yeah, chopped people up. Yeah, she killed her parents and then, um, and then she basically just played the innocent victim and sweet young girl and uh, she got away with it. Wow. Yeah. And then how do, how do people know that she actually did it then? Well, because it's impossible for anyone else to have done it. There was right. no well, one else yeah, around. Yeah. She was the only person in the house. So well, that, that's going to make you look a bit guilty then, isn't it? Completely guilty. But they would rather believe that, like, some miscreant wandered into the house and killed... Miscreants, eh? Yeah, I uh, hate them. <laughs> uh, they're awful. There's miscreants where I live. In my house. It. My children are miscreants. <laughs> I, ooh, I wonder if they'll kill me with an axe. If you're lucky. Wouldn't it be ironic if later in life I was killed by one of my children with an axe? <laughs> I mean, it would be also awful. Yeah. But this a little clip here would get played over and over yeah. again. Yeah. It'd be probably, it'd be good for me, so. What you're saying is you want me dead? <laughs> Only if it benefits me in some way. Well, that's, I think that's a perfectly fine Hollywood answer. <laughs> Do you, are you a fan of the detective genre? Do you? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm pretty obsessed with true crime. I love it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I like a little crime. Well, my next guest is a Scottish crime writer, you know. I know. Yeah, I know. he writes the John Rebus. No, John Rebus is kind of like a contemporary um, Sherlock Holmes in Edinburgh. Very good. Terrible drunk. <laughs> not, not the writer. Well, right. maybe the writer, I don't know. <laughs> yes, the writer. <laughs> yeah. um, but there you are. Well, that's good. So what else is going on then? Been on vacation? Um, yeah, I went away at Christmas. I got married in October. Congratulations! Thanks. That's fantastic! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did you have a big wedding? It wasn't huge. It was uh, me. Did you get married underwater and scuba diving? Equipment? Yes. Actually, how did you know? Uh, it's a thing. Everybody's <laughs> doing it now. Um, we got married in New York. Kind of normal. That's normal. nice. At night. At you know. night? Yes, Darren. Hi. Are you goths? Yes. <laughs> no. So you got married, did you go on honeymoon anywhere? Um, yes, we did. We went to the Maldives. The Maldives. Mm -hmm. That is scuba diving. 
Yeah, but we didn't go scooby diving. <laughs> well, that seems fair enough. Been anywhere else apart from the Maldives? No, not recently. Mm. No. Canada? Oh, yeah, we shot this in Canada. Yeah. How sorry, I'm know? sorry. No, no, I just, I'm amazed. Oh. I just said Canada because I, uh, sometime unspecified some time ago, I, uh, <laughs> I was worried about perhaps not being able to get to Canada to oh. perform stand-up comedy. Which part of Canada did you, did you uh, visit? Nova Scotia. That's where we shot Lizzie Borden. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, cold there. It was actually hot when we were there. It was, happened to be, it was... June. Thanks a lot, Al Gore. <laughs> It was June, July, and it was um, crazy humidity and really hot, and we were, was, you know, it's period, this movie, so we were wearing layers of wool. It was really, it was a lot. Do you, uh, do you wear, like, like, you, like in Sean Connery, when he was doing Name of the Rose, underneath his robe, he had his golf outfit on. Do you, like, do you wear golf outfits underneath your period costume? <laughs> Strangely enough, I No, don't. but, like, you know, did you wear period underwear and yes, all that? Like, you went completely... You kind of have to. <laughs> Me. That's a fair question. Oh, period underwear. Oh. Oh. I just got it too. I didn't even think of that. Oh, shut up. I think you're so funny. They, yeah. They are Those just. Ladies, that's they the Australians funny. right there, right oh. there. No, I mean, did you wear um, yes. underwear from that time? Yeah. Knit, like. Yeah. Bloomers and Pantaloon, such? Yes. Pantaloons bloomers, and bloomers. bloomers. must be... Bloomers, uh, the whole thing. Yeah? Yeah. Did any of it rub off? I mean, you know, did you... <laughs> did you ever think, I'm, I'm actually going to take some of these home and... No, no. Wear them around? No. You don't like Victorian clothing? No, straight, no I don't, no. <sighs> yeah. Uh, well, we've got to take a break. Okay. And then I'm going to have some stern words for you about Victorian clothing and sharks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with Christina Regia. <laughs> Now you, it's, it's not the way to do it. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Christina Ricci. She was talking to me about she's changed.
mind about sharks and Victorian underwear and now has a doll line where she dresses up sharks in Victorian underwear. <laughs> Would you ever do that? No. <laughs> All right then. What about a fragrance? A lot of actresses do that. I, I don't know. I would never be able to take it. I would name it something ri ridiculous. I what were you going to say there? Nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Well, what would you name it then? Like I don't know. bacon? Probably. A lot of people want to smell like bacon. <laughs> or uh, what's your favorite smell of all the smells? Uh, I don't know. Your husband? I really like the smell of tobacco. Really? <laughs> You're a very controversial creature. <laughs> Do you smoke? No. I see. Not anymore. Oh, me neither. When did you give up? Uh less than a year ago. Yeah, I gave up like 15, 16 years ago. Still want one. Yeah, every day. Every day. Mm. Like if smoking didn't kill you, I'd be on it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but it does. Yeah. You know, like when you give up drinking, it's awesome. You know, you lose weight, people are like, woo, look at you, not waking up in the dumpster. It's awesome. <laughs> but. I know the only upside to not smoking is not dying prematurely. Right, but you, I mean, you put Maybe. on weight, you get angry, yeah. you're cranky with people, your smoking friends are like... I know, and everyone told me that I would look so much better. Nothing changed. You do look great, though. Thanks. You do look very, very attractive. Okay. But you then, you always did. Even with the smoking, yeah. Uh, nothing like a... <laughs> nothing like a shark-hating young woman with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth <laughs> in Victorian underwear. <laughs> what do you guys want? Keep your house fat sharks away from here, all right? Yeah, you just had the trash mouth and everything is perfect. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you, do you have a potty mouth, do you swear? A little bit, yeah. Yeah? I don't. No. I used to a little bit, but I gave it up. Mm. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Uh, awkward okay. pause? You want an awkward pause? Yeah. Sure.